what's going on everyone got a, a quick install video for y'all so like i said these are for performance toe length bearings they're like bushings to me but uh you can call it whatever you want to call it but uh, uh this is not going to be a long install video something very quick and short uh something to help you out when dealing with pressing bushings out so first things first set up set it up now if you're having trouble you have a sawzall electric saw you can cut the rubber out inside and make a slit down the middle and then it'll help push the sleeve out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try it without and see what happens so let me get the camera somewhere where it's not going to be shaking a whole lot while i do this so and then you got a good old energy drink i'm gonna take a sip while you uh watching this video all right y'all so what i did i went ahead and pressed the rubber sleeve out that way I can make a small incision right down the middle and make it easy to press this out and then I can go ahead and press the other one in. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna carefully make a slit on each side and make it easy to press this bushing, this sleeve out and then you should be good to go. So after you press the rubber out, that's what it'll look like right here. All jacked up. Oh, right here. Just stand behind it. All right, y'all, so we got bushing out, the sleeve out. Like I said, uh, went ahead and pressed the bushing out. Uh, I cut here and somewhere else. And down the middle right here, just to relieve the tension off the sleeve right here. So there's really no install videos of which way this goes in so what i'm going to do is this end right here i'm going to use this matter of fact there it is right there see the little, little tapered in right there so i'm going to use that to install the bushing i'm going to go in this way Take a little bit of UV blaster right there. Try to get that as straight as possible. Let's 
see in the video. Alright. So it is here. Well, I tell you, if it was easy, everybody be doing it. I'll tell you that. All right, y'all, so we got this set up to get this bearing pressed back in here. Like I said, we got the other one out. So let's go ahead and get this one installed. So excuse the noise. y'all so quick update so the bearing is in flush so the line that you see right here is if you line this bearing up it'll be lined up with that so that's why you have more on this side and that's why they have this indention line right here to where it's all the way flush so don't be like, oh, just bury it out too far. No. Pay attention. And you'll understand. Oh, bushing sleeve. So, like I said, there's a night and day difference. Like I said, this one has pockets right here where this can move around. We're making pulls or launching a vehicle so you want to get rid of any type of deflection so that's why we decided that we're going to go ahead put this bearing in there's a it's solid all the way around inside and out so overall like i said install i ain't gonna lie to you pain in the butt but uh we got it done so i hope this video helped you out so go ahead subscribe to the channel like this video and like i said we're gonna get ready to uh, get this all put back together uh waiting on ups and fedex to bring the rest of the stuff so we can get this mess together but uh like i said appreciate y'all watching the video stay tuned in and stay tuned for the next all right, thank you.